Hey everybody, High Tech Hillbilly here. So today I want to go over some smokers. And I want to show you some pros and cons of some of the most common smokers that we people buy. Um, such as this Master Built Pro Series that you can get at Home Depot and other places. Here's a Traeger. And here's a Pit Boss. This is a big Kahuna Pit Boss. And this is a big Kahuna Traeger. These two are pellet smokers. Master Belt Pro, this, this series is a propane smoker. So, let me show you here. As you can see, these two look very different. This one we've used heavily. This one we bought used that somebody had barely used. And um, because this one was rotting in the sun. These master belts are built really, really cheaply. They're they're the cheapest cheapest the these master belts are the cheapest built smokers, I think, that you can buy. These handles, when we bought this one maybe five years ago, six years ago, this knob here broke off the first year. So for for many years we actually used pliers to adjust the temp the flame and the temperature. Inside, you have racks. These racks we removed to clean them. And you can see that the paint is old and flaked off. What we experienced with these master built smokers is while we were smoking, the paint came off in these huge flakes and it, and it got onto our meat. Yeah. So, and the, the racks are very, very flimsy. As you can see, this one is all bent because it can't even support the weight of the brisket properly without bending. That's how cheap it is. Here's the burn tray. And down there is where the burner is. What happens is the burner quickly will stop making a blue flame and it'll make a, an orange and yellow flame, which is basically ba a bad flame. But you know what? Even with all its shortcomings, these are, they make very good brisket overall. They really do. They really make good brisket. Because with these tower smokers, the briskets, so you put one on each level here, and what happens is the one on the top drips on this one, and this one drips onto this one. And this one drips onto this one. It makes excellent, excellent brisket. And then what we actually do is, let me show you. This, the pan, the water pan, is terrible. It's so small. It doesn't do any good. So what we do is we put water and wood chips in there. And we also put wood chips down here, wet wood chips down here. Big, chunky ones, not the slivery ones. And it seems to do pretty well. Uh, it really depends on what kind of smoke you can tolerate or like. But what we do is we'll put an aluminum pan, you know, one of those tall ones, and that's really wide, and we'll put it in here to catch the drippings from the other shelves. And we'll use those because, well, it's this one's. These are not really designed to catch drippings. They've got your vents on the side and in the back at the top. It's got a plain old thermometer. The electric start button. And then this is your stupid drippings tray right here. It's stupid, it doesn't work. It's never worked for us. Oh, and it's also got another vent right here. Ugh, if I can turn it. Okay, well, I don't wanna break that off. So, that's the deal with the master belts, okay? They're really flimsy, but they do what you need it to do with a little work. Let's come over here to this Traeger. On the surface, these Traegers are awesome. 
they're well built. They really are well built. They're 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 what you would expect from a thousand dollar grill, okay, or a thousand dollar smoker. But the Traegers have a major design flaw, and it's this tray in here. This this catches the drippings. Now, this tray. This, the tray, the drippings tray, is sloped. Okay, so the drippings basically are supposed to run this direction and then go down. And there's a catch down below here, and you can see that hole right there to the outside. And then you hang a bucket, and it's supposed to catch your drippings right here. The problem is, if you can see that. It's all burned up. The reason why it's all burned up is number one, it doesn't slope enough. So what happens is the drippings get stuck on this tray on the, or on the uh, pan down here and they burn up. So all you really get is pure grease. So it does eventually run, but by the time it runs out and goes down in, into the bucket, well, it's all burned up. Another thing is it should have, it should be V. It should be a V in the middle. So let me open this up. Pull this out. I wonder if I can pull this. Can I pull this out without? Well, let's leave it in there. It's too much trouble. But basically, it's flat, and it should be V-shaped so that the drippings will go towards the middle and run out. They'd be more less likely to burn up then, but they couldn't muster up enough effort to design that properly. So that's a major design flaw, and because of that, we don't use this. I guess I need to make a part or something, but I'm not real ingenuitive that way. If that if it wasn't for that design flaw, this would be a great smoker. The smoke works well. The temperature controls work well. If you look on here, you know what's funny? On these Traegers, it goes in 25 degree increments on the thermostat. See that? You have 180, 225, 250, 275, and so on and so forth. On the Pit Boss, it's the same. It does 25 degree increments. 150, 175, 200, etc., etc. Now the reviews on this pit boss, people were whining and complaining that the knob, the temperature control, only goes in 25 degree increments and people were whining how they can't control and dial in the temperature. But they weren't whining and complaining about the Traegers, which have the same thing. I find that fascinating. I, I Reviews, most reviews are fake or they're one-sided. They won't point out the things on one that they'll point out on another. The gauge of the steel is good. It's not aluminum, it's steel, powder coated. Well, it's not real well powder coated, or maybe it's just painted, but to me it feels like it's powder coated. Um, the wheels are rubberized. It's hard rubberized wheels on there, and then it's got your standard. I don't like these locks, the foot locks, these tiny ones. But what I do like is that they're easy to, to do and undo, the locks. This is electric, and this is electric. This is the Pit Boss. This is a 777-000. I can't remember the actual model number. That's the part number of it. It's got a huge hopper. This whole back piece here is the hopper. Let me flip it, flip it around. And it's got a window here where you can see how many pellets you got in there. It's really big. It goes all the way up. And you drop them in. You flip this up and drop them in. Now, the trays or the racks are nice, decent, heavy gauge racks. I, I, I want to open it, but it's running. Let's. I'll, I'll show. I'll give you a quick look. We've got bacon and brisket in here. Mm. Look at that. And elk. Beef brisket, elk, and beef bacon. 
anyway so the trays obviously can hold just fine it's got a major flaw in it the door is crooked so when I seal this door when I close this door oh, come on now. Let, me, let me do this there close it if you look here this is a $700 grill look at that door it's not even straight and so what happens it's got a rubber gasket in here I can actually see inside the grill right there inside the smoke box also down here smoke comes out down here too that's a big uh, problem on the side here it looks like it's straight but when you look over here it's really messed up so what that means is either the door is completely not square which I think it is because of the glass or this is not square and I believe it's this that's not square really awful engineering so it's not worth the $700 with that sort of engineering it was this was easy to assemble this was easy to assemble those were actually kind of a pain to assemble but not too bad see how the smoke is coming out down here see that it just comes right out and then it comes right out through here too do that it should be only be coming out up here but that door is not sealed and neither this is not square anyway so that's that we'll see what happens we'll see what happens this is our first time using this one so alrighty I hope uh, you were able to at least get some useful information out of this video if you did give me a like thumbs up and maybe subscribe thanks for watching Todd Tech Hillbilly out